Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom fondly. Y'all I'm so excited for today's video because I guess a play with some new products that I've just been staring at. Staring at longingly and I couldn't wait to slap them all over my face. So in today's video we're going to be talking about three new products. First one being the new concealer from Natasha Denona, the High Glam Concealer. The Play Bento Box from Kaja. And last but certainly not least, the new palette from Unearthly Cosmetics, the Don't Be Jelly palette. So if you want to see how I created this beautiful look, because baby, it's a journey, okay? It was a journey today. Well, keep on watching. But before we do that, a word from today's sponsor. Thank you, Lumi, for sponsoring today's video. I adore Lumi, and I'm so happy to be working with them again because one, their products are amazing, but honestly, they are the most essential thing if you're coming to the Central Florida area, especially in the summertime. Lumi is a doctor-developed whole-body aluminum-free deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond. From your thigh folds to your underboob sweat to even your butt crack, hell, even your vulva can be freshened up with Lumi. This deodorant is clinically proven to provide a 72-hour odor control. And besides being aluminum-free, they're also baking soda and paraben-free as well. If you have sensitive skin, like myself, these are got-to-have items that you've got to have. It's smelly in Florida, okay? It's smelly. It really is. And I don't have the best sense of smell and the fact that I could smell people that's a problem okay that's a problem and I know it's only gonna continue to get worse okay it's like New York in August where it just smells like an open diaper like <laughs> I know it's gonna smell like this for months down here so don't be a part of the problem be a part of the solution with Lumi what makes Lumi unique it prevents external body odor from happening in the first place and it does so by stopping the odor causing reaction from happening on the skin. Definitely making it a pre-odorant. So whether you choose the cream or the stick formula, you're in good hands with Lumi. And Lumi products come in beautiful bright scents like clean tangerine, lavender sage, fresh alpine. There's a very beautiful toasted coconut which if I didn't have a weird allergy to coconut I would totally be slathering all over my nethers. <laughs> and soft powder. Now if you're new to Lumi I totally recommend you checking out the starter pack. You get a little bit of everything. Thing. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, a cream tube deodorant, and two free products of your choice, which I highly recommend checking out the mini body wash and the deodorant wipes. Not only are they amazing, but they're honestly perfect for traveling. And the best part is that you get free shipping. What is there not to love about that? As a special offer for my followers, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code TERESA2023 at the link in the video description or scan the QR code on the screen right now. That equals 40% off your starter pack when you click the link down below and use code TERESA2023. Thank you again to Lumi for sponsoring today's video and y'all go do yourself a favor and be a part of the solution and smell your best. Seriously, smell your best. <laughs> now without further ado, let me show you how I turned into this beautiful creature. Hi, you expected me to look dead. I'm not. <laughs> All right, so I put on a little bit of primer and foundation. I am good. Now I'm so excited. So excited because I want to see how bad this is. <laughs> this is the new Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I have it in the shade N2 and I feel like that's going to be a mistake. Because <laughs> when I swatched it, I was like, oh, it's going to feel a little bit too dark, but we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. So uh, let's see. Um, packaging wise, it's really cute though. I like it. This is the first complexion product I've ever used from the brand. Ooh, that doe foot. That's cute. I like it. It's like a little diamond. This is, yeah. Oh, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is dark. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, shittacles. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn, I really thought like, oh, this is gonna be like the lightest shade. No, this is, this would be really good foundation. I don't think this, yeah, this would it actually, it's kind of fucking dark. <sighs> okay, we're gonna, it, it's fine. We're gonna push through. We're gonna push through. <laughs> we're gonna push through. And we're gonna see how this goes. Maybe when you start to blend it out, it won't be that noticeable how fucking dark it is, but we'll see. How are you? I am, you know, I'm okay. I, I want my voice back. I, I sound like a fucking frog and it's annoying. Um, how does that look? How does that look? It's it's not bad, right? Like, I guess I'm so used to a brightening moment because I feel like all my concealers are white out. Uh, <laughs> so seeing this is like, I don't know. Um... 
I'm not mad at it. It's just, it's nice. Like, my skin looks good, but like, I don't. <sighs> I, I think I should have probably got the lightest shade. It probably is more my speed, but you know what? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I could always add a brightening powder, which I always set my under eye area anyway. I could probably just use a brightening powder and get exactly what I need or what I feel like is missing from my face because I like to have like a beacon of light under my eyes. I do. Uh, but formula wise though, it's very creamy. It's blending out very, very easily. And it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. I know I was kind of like a little bit of a brat before. I was like, <laughs> um, but it's really not that... It's not that bad. It really isn't. It's it's more my skin tone, which I guess is just something I didn't expect. Um, maybe a little hair darker, but with all that, you know, I was about to say New York. <laughs> with all that Florida sun that I'm getting, um, maybe this is not so bad after all. Like, I don't look bad. I feel like I'm convincing you. Like, I don't look bad. <laughs> but no, like, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer around my face because the foundation I used today is the Revlon Skin Caring Foundation. And um, I didn't do a lot of layers because I wanted to see if this was gonna be a good um, spot concealing foundation. <sighs> concealer, what am I talking about? A concealer. So we are going to mask some of this redness. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this color is definitely dark. <laughs> it's definitely dark. I gotta notice it now. Um, fuck me, fuck me, wow, fuck me. Shit. Okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So N2, if you are uncooked chicken, not good. Not a good shade. Under the eyes it looks it doesn't look terrible, but when I use it for my face, it's kind of like, ooh, ooh, I don't know <laughs> if this is gonna work well. But formula wise though, it feels really yeah, wow, that's dark. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. I turned myself more into a light. Uh, as opposed to a fair, but okay, okay. Could be worse. It could have been like that Gucci foundation. Remember how awful that was? Where it literally looked like I was at Oompa Loompa. It could be like that, but it's not. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I definitely got the wrong shade. But formula-wise, it feels pretty good. It's looking really nice. It's not settling into my little fine lines, but I need to put some powder down. So I'm going to put some powder down right here. Actually, I'm just going to go over my eye because my eye looks really... Kind of scary. Now I look normal. I felt like I looked like a, a dead person before. I know my namesake, but that was scaring the shit out of me. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little powder right here, which I'm going to use one of my favorite things that doesn't exist anymore. The Becca under eye powder. God, it's so good. I'm like, I'm like holding on to this for dear life. I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyes and I'm not gonna set the rest of my face yet because the next product that I'm gonna play with, a third of it is cream and the other two products are powder. So we're going to uh, do a cream contour first, but uh, hold on, let me set my under eyes. I need a product like this. I know Charlotte Tilbury comes very, very close. I really do like it, but there's something about the back of one now. Just it's so fucking good. I'm so mad that that was one of the products at Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth? What? No, it was <laughs> Smashbox, equally as ew, didn't resurrect from the grave. Fuck that company, seriously. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna use is this little Kaja Bento box. So if you have watched my makeup bingo, you saw me probably go, oh my god, and like literally just like suck this thing off. Cause I was excited to try it because this is like really cool. And plus I'm in that era where I just like things that are really small. And if they have multiple uses, I'm like all about it, which I am such a clown, but that's neither here or there. But this was actually sent to me in PR. I didn't even realize it was gonna be sent to me. I was gonna purchase it and then it was sent to me and I was like, holy shit, oh, today's my day, kids. So this is called the Play Bento Box. It's a blendable sculpting trio. I actually have it in two colors. I have it in the shade, which is more for me, sugar cookie. And I also have it in the darkest shade, Dolce Cappuccino. So let me see something actually. I may pass this off to a friend, but I was kind of curious to see what it was gonna look like though. Yeah, definitely that is way too deep for me, the contour portion, but um, ooh. Ooh, you know what? I think this might be a little bit too deep. I probably could get away with the blush. The blush is the only thing I can get away with, but oh fuck, do I actually, I kinda wanna play with it now. No, I need to put it away for the front. Okay, no, my friend's gonna get that. No, I'm not gonna touch it. We're not touching it. Here's the lightest one, sugar cookie. This is what the cream contour looks like. We are going to, ooh, make it happen, Captain. I don't know. I think that could work. It's kind of warm, which is not my favorite, but I feel like we could probably make this work. All right, so let's uh, attack the face. So I'm gonna use the mini base from Sony G because this is like one of my favorite brushes to use for cream products. That's not bad, that's not bad. 
I thought it was gonna be really, 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 really warm, but so far, so good. It's definitely a neutral option for sure. It's really, really pretty. It's not too much. I feel like I <laughs> look super tan though. <sighs> I, look, I look super tan, but I don't hate it though. I think it's actually really, really pretty. It blended very, very easily. Let's see if I can add a little bit more. It's a really, you know what? It's kind of exceeding my expectations. It looks really natural. It doesn't look too much which that's what I love in a cream contour cream bronzer product. This is cute. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. Now the true test is let's see if it still remains uh, when I put powder on my face, but so far so good. So let me put some powder on and we'll come back and we will do the next two sets of products. So I put on a little bit of powder. You still kind of see it. You still kind of see it a little bit. Um, part of me wants to go in with a little bit more bronzer. And I think I might do that just a little bit. Just a scotch, just a scotch. We need a little bit of something else. So I'm gonna go in with the Kosas bronzer, just a little bit, just a teeny tiny amount. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So now what we're gonna do is go in with the blush first, which is this guy. He's kind of peach-ish. It's actually way darker than I expected. Huh, okay. I'm confused, but all right. So the shade is called Peach Pie. It kind of feels brown a little bit, but we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see how it goes. Okay. Oh, oh, she is, she is, she is, she is pigmented. Okay, God, okay, fuck, okay. I think like I possess it all, good job. On the bright side, it blends out nicely. But dare I say, did I just blend the product away? Kind of, not really, like a little bit. Sort of, I don't know, right? I, I feel like I blended the product away a little bit. That's kind of weird. Okay, we're gonna try that one more time. Just a little bit, just a scotch. Maybe try a different brush. Maybe that one wasn't great. That's better, right? Is it? I feel like it is. I feel like it is. I'm unsure. I think so. <laughs> I like it. Do you though? <laughs> Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I'm like 70% sure I like this. 65, 65% sure I like this. No, I like this. I like this. 82, 82, okay. I am 82% sure this is gonna fucking work for me. Okay, moving on to the highlighter. This I'm excited about because this looks amazing. <laughs> Oh, bitch. Oh, nice. Oh, this is cute. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. You know, I was a little unsure, but that highlighter. Ah, oh, bitch. Okay. <laughs> that sounded very sexy. Um, this is, ooh, you can build it up too. Oh, that's, that's pretty. It looks like, I know, it looks like a kind of a stripe on my face, but we're going to fix that. Um, but I just want to, you know, listen. I, I just, I just, I, I just want more. I want more, I want more, I want more. Give me more. Uh, this is pretty though. And what's nice about it is that it's not sparkly. There's no craft glitter. It's just straight up silky beautifulness. Now I'm not taking any additional product from the blush, just whatever is left on that little brush. I think that one looks a lot better. I'm gonna go in a little bit with this brush. Okay. I look very summery. I'm not mad about that. I'm not mad about that at all. Like I look cute. We approve. Okay. Now moving on to like my favorite thing because I cannot wait to crack into this because this looks so good. This is from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the Don't Be Jelly Palette. Oh, bitch. This looks so much fun. And I really want... Ooh, that green. Ooh, that green, that green, that green. Oh, that's moody. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Ooh, no, hold on. Oh, 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 that's fun. Shit, there's so many, like, fuck, I'm, fuck, I don't, why do I want to keep saying fuck me, but fuck me, though. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice, too. Ooh, okay, okay. I think... This is winning though. You can't see that. Why do I even bother? <laughs> oh, that's nice too. Fuck. Oh no. Oh, that purple. Oh, that purple. What could go good with my summer look? Please let me know down below. Let's lock in our votes <laughs> because I'm probably gonna do the complete opposite. God, I hate me. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let me clean my hands and get to work. 
So I prime one of my eyes, and we're gonna just do one eye, and then unfortunately I have a meeting today, so I have to look somewhat fucking presentable. Otherwise I would have done two. But I think what I wanna do is, I love the shade Luminescence. I think it's so beautiful. And I feel like it's just gonna pair very, very well uh, with the Sea Star shade. Um, so I'm gonna do Sea Star first. Yeah, I kinda wanna let the shimmer just fucking speak for itself. So I'm going to lay Sea Star all over the lid and then we're gonna layer that right on top of it. So this should be fun. I have a meeting today and of course it's one of those meetings where it's you know encouraged but voluntold <laughs> that you turn on your camera uh, so we need to not look like I rolled out of a bush somewhere you know what I mean we need to look somewhat uh, presentable today well as presentable as one can be with purple eyeshadow you know who cares it's so funny I'm like the only person in my job that pretty much does makeup everybody else Kind of looks like a potato. Uh, not, but not that they look like a potato. It's just I, I just I phrased that wrong. They are all beautiful. Uh, they just don't wear any makeup or don't really give a fuck at work anyway. Um, I have seen some of their pictures on Instagram and they know how to clean up. Uh, it's just at work. I, I just don't think they give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, this purple is pretty good. I'm really just being very, 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 very like just going in very very lightly with it because I don't want any fallout um so I'm just doing a little bit at a time and I think what I'm going to do now is once I get this a little bit more opaque then I'm going to start to blend this out into the crease area I think my only complaint about this palette is that uh when I look at these colors I'm like uh I feel a little stunted creatively when it comes to the mattes because I'm like I don't know like I'm, I guess I'm just so used to overcomplicating my life <laughs> by needing like fucking three mats before I, I play with the shimmer. Uh, so kind of just seeing this and, and seeing like, oh, I technically only really need one mat and just play with the shimmer. It's kind of throwing me for a loop. My brain's not trained that way. Um, my brain's just not trained that way. So, uh, so that's my only, my only little issue with here is I'm, I'm just trying desperately to think like, okay, well, what else can kind of mix with this? Which part of me wants to play with that green, but I feel like it might not be the best. But a part of me wants to though, a little bit. You know what, fuck it, we're gonna try it. We're gonna go in with that seafoam shade. We're gonna try to blend the edges. I don't know, let's see what that does. Because purple and green, they do go together. They're Mardi Gras colors, so. This is a very strong eye look for an 11 o'clock meeting. Yeah, this is a, this is, this is a strong one. <laughs> You're gonna be like, Teresa, tell us about the QED reports. Sure, let me tell you about them. <sighs> Fuck, okay, hold on. So I'm gonna go in to that seafoam shade and I'm just going to, oh, okay. You know what? I'm kind of glad that I did that. I thought it was gonna like overtake the look, but it's really just, softening those purple edges. Really, really pretty actually. Sometimes you gotta trust your gut, Teresa. It's not gonna always work, <laughs> but sometimes it might surprise you. I like Unearthly's formula. I definitely think their shimmers are my favorite thing. Their multi-chromes are really good too. And when this palette came out, I've been kind of stalking it. This was sent to me in PR, but if this wasn't sent to me, I would have definitely picked this up. Cause it's just so pretty. Oh, I'm giving you fucking Joker vibes right now. Ah, uh, oh God. Okay, I think I flew a little bit too close to the sun. When I used a little bit of the green, uh, it was definitely like, okay, this is soft. It's a little bit more subtle. But now I'm like, okay, this, this is, this is a, this is a mint moment. So hold on one second. Clean, fluffy brush blends the outer corner a little bit better. Only right there though, like right in the crease is a little patchy, but I think that might be a me problem though. Let me see if I can switch the brush. Yeah, I think that was the brush I was using. Now it looks a little bit better. Oh yeah. Oh, I look so fucking moody. Oh, that's so pretty. There is a little bit of fallout, a little tiny bit of fallout on the bright side. It's very easy to clean, so that is really, really good. I'm gonna go back in with that green shade just a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks better, okay. Definitely the brush I was using wasn't helping me. Oh, it's so like moody. Again, a lot for a fucking 11 o'clock meeting, but uh, who cares? Who gives a shit? I'm gonna throw on a little bit of glitter glue and we are going to just paint the entire lid. And I'm gonna go into that luminescence shade. Oh, yes, it's exactly what 
I wanted. Such a beautiful shade. Oh, that's so fucking precious. That looks so good. I love that. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> a little pig and shit right now. I'm so happy. I'm gonna go into the shade Sea Urchin. I'm just gonna line my eyes with it. I find that doing it with shadow is so much better than an eyeliner. Less irritation and the motherfucker stays for days. And it's also more wiggle room if you do mess it up because it's a shadow you can really just, you could smoke it out and it doesn't have like this really bullshit harsh line. Cause sometimes with cream it's like once you're set you're stuck. But with powder, it looks softer. And again, if you don't have steady hands like myself, because I drink way too much caffeine, <laughs> the wiggle room for making it look really, really beautiful as opposed to being a sloppy fucking mess. It's so good. I love that buffer. And that looks fucking everything that I want it to be. Okay, I mean, this is, I need to call out of work. Like this is like, I can't like, I'm not gonna waste. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste this eye look on colleagues, fuck that. Oh my God, I look like such a see you next Tuesday. <sighs> I'm in love. Okay, let me do the other side and then uh, let's talk about it. Here's a completed look. I know I look so fucking sweet, I love it. Okay, so let's talk about these products. The first one is the concealer. I like this. I think it's a really beautiful formula. I just got the wrong color. I think under the eyes, it looks okay, but the rest of my face, I could kind of see the difference of like how deep the shade is. Uh, so that's my only complaint. This is not settling into my fine lines. It went on very easily, very smoothly. Maybe the reason why it doesn't look so bad under the eyes is because I use a brightening powder. That's probably the reason why, but usually, what I look for in a concealer is a brightening moment. So it kind of threw me for a loop when um, this came out and I was like, oh, this is definitely a foundation shade more than a concealer shade. I feel like I did make it work at the end of the day. I'm actually really genuinely surprised how good the formula is. I had low expectations that this was gonna work for me. And the fact that it was creamy and it's not settling into my fine lines, it's very, very hydrating. It looks comfortable. Like my whole under eye area just looks beautiful. It also meshed very, very, very well with the powder. Like I'm a fucking fan like this is this is good I can't believe I'm even saying that like this is fucking good after I'm done shooting this video I'm gonna go buy probably I think there are two colors lighter than this I think it's like n0 and n1 I feel like I want to go with n1 but I might go with n0 only because this is technically supposed to be light and I feel like it's pretty dark so I don't know I'm, I'm gonna try to go with either n0 and n1 in any case I'm gonna do an updated video to let you know if those work better for me but um on the bright side I feel like I can technically still use this for the under area. I just have to pair it with a brightening powder just to make it not look so noticeable. But this exceeded my expectations. This was fucking fabulous. Moving on to the little Kaja Bento box. So in this little guy, you get a blush, a cream bronzer, and a highlighter. It's kind of a little bit of a bitch to open. So Ow, fuck. I feel like I'm gonna break my nail every time. Um, so let's start with the bronzer first. This is really fucking good. This kind of exceeded my expectations. I didn't really know what to expect. But one, I love the color. It's a neutral option, which granted, I kind of like more of a cool tone option. But listen, if I can get neutral, I am a pig in shit. This applied very beautifully with a brush. It didn't look patchy. It didn't look muddy. It wasn't picking up the foundation underneath. And then when I used a sponge to press in the product, it just made my skin look that much better. It actually looked eerily natural, which I really, really love. And that's the kind of bronzers that I gravitate towards, the ones that really look natural, like you actually sat in the sun and you got a beautiful glow, as opposed to just layering on a bunch of fucking makeup. This is so lightweight, doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin, and something that I am going to be reaching for a lot this summer, so I'm very, very happy about that. Moving on to the highlighter, which is like the middle component. Bitch, I'm obsessed. It's an alien slut highlighter. Like, need I say more? It's fucking 10 out of 10. I have tried some of their other highlighters and their other highlighters are, you know, they're okay. But this one has been by far the best. The highlighter alone is worth it. <laughs> Honestly, between the little cream bronzer and the highlighter, this is what I wanted the beauty blender thing to be. That stupid little bounce thing. That's what I wanted this product to be. The beauty blender one was such fucking garbage. It was such a weird color and the formula was really funky. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I'm so happy to finally kind of get it in this component. Very, very cool. And then we have the blush, which listen, when I first applied the blush, I was kind of like, I don't, I don't know about this. Uh, because when I put it on, it felt very possessed doll, which whatever I admire, I love being an Annabelle doll. But when I started to blend it out, it blended into nothing, which kind of freaked me out. Cause I was like, oh no, it's gonna be like the emperor of new blush kind of bullshit. Thankfully it wasn't. I realized it was just the brush that I was using. But once I did apply it to the face, I just think it just blended out so beautifully and so seamless. Like I look like a beautiful little summer goddess. 
this. Like, I love this. I'm so happy because I know in my makeup bingo video, I was talking about how much I really, really wanted this product, especially going to New York because I felt like, oh, it's gonna be small. It's gonna be something super easy to use. And I'm so happy. This is everything that I wanted to be. So I'm a very, very happy little girl right now. This makes me so fucking happy. Now, if this wasn't set to be in PR, I definitely would have picked it up and I would have thought like, this is definitely well worth the money. So if you were interested in picking this up, this is a lot of fun. Just know that the blush is definitely a little bit, it's like, it's peach, but it's definitely like a brown peach, which I guess is kind of unique to my collection because I really don't have a lot of brown peaches. I kind of have more like peachy, like orangey peaches. So this is actually, the more I think about it, the more I'm, I'm really starting to like the blush actually. I, I know I was a little like, I don't know how I feel about this, but the more I think about it and the more I'm looking at myself on the monitor, like I'm pretty fucking cute. So I like this. I'm a fan. I'm happy about this one. And then last but not least, we have the Don't Be Jelly palette. So this was sent to me in PR. So thank you so much to Unearthly Cosmetics for sending this my way. When this first was announced, I was so fucking obsessed with it because I couldn't wait to play with all the shimmer shades. I really do like Unearthly Cosmetics. I think their mattes are good. They're not the best mattes, but I think they're solid. For me, what sells the palette are their shimmers. They have some fantastic fucking shimmers. They are so alien slut. They are so sparkly. And their multi-chromes are legit. Like they're very, very fucking good. And I always appreciate that Unearthly makes really unique, grungy, beautiful color stories that just fucking hit every time. So this one does not disappoint whatsoever. I am so fucking obsessed with this luminescent shade. I swear this look that I created today, it's like an everlasting gobstopper. I'm fucking living for it. And again, I hate that I'm wasting it for work. So this 12 pan palette has seven like shimmer, metallic, duochrome, multi-chrome shades, right? And then there's five mattes. I think my only complaint is the matte selection. They're pretty, but I kind of feel a little, I don't know, a little stunted when I look at them because I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. I think for today's look, it actually really, really worked out beautifully using Sea Star and Sea Foam. Like yes, purple and green do go together, but like these two shades really worked out very well. And I'm so happy that Sea Foam didn't like disappear into nothing. It really brought like a nice like green punch to the look. This purple is very, very pretty. It wasn't patchy. The shade Sea Star was very, very pretty. I did experience a little bit of patchiness at first, but it was definitely due to my error. It was the brush that I was using. So once I switched the brush up, then it just worked out really, really seamlessly. But to me, the star of the show is obviously Luminescence. I did put it on with a little bit of glitter glue and it's just giving me life. It's giving me life. Also the Sea Urchin shade is very, very beautiful as well. It makes for a killer killer liner. This is fucking great. I love them. I love them. They're fucking fantastic. If you've never tried Unearthly Cosmetics, I'm going to offer you two suggestions. One, definitely check out this palette, but definitely check out their low light highlighters. There's one in particular. Oh my God, where are you? Spellbinding? Yo. I am so sorry. You're not going to be able to see that. This is one of my, like, Okay, you know what? I wasn't gonna do it, but I gotta put it on my face now. We're gonna put it on my face. It's so goddamn, like, I, I can't. I There's no words. There are no words for this one, okay? Oh, and it just, it pairs so perfectly. It pairs so fucking perfectly. I'm obsessed. I love it. I can't. I cannot stop eye-fucking myself, seriously. I know we didn't talk about this in today's video, but highly, highly recommend checking this one out. They're all really good. There's four of them that come out, but honestly, Spellbinding is probably the one that's the most unique. So fucking good. So if you were interested, definitely check out the Don't Be Jelly palette and pick up a highlighter while you're at it. Now, I do have an affiliate with them, so if you're ever interested in wanting to pick anything up, use the code garbage and you can save some money off your order super happy to be playing with this palette and i honestly ugh, i can't wait to play with hydro space hydro space looks so good oof i want to play with that so badly right now if i had time I would take my makeup off and uh, put that all over my body. Anyway, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these products and if you do, do you love them? Do you hate them? Or are you kinda like neutral about them? Let me know because I love hearing from you. And again, I wanna say thank you so much to Lumi for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and Patreon members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, actually. Garbage butter float. Couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. Seriously, we could be one and it'd be a great time. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.